Um, and today is a very special show. I guess um, in the past couple of years, social media has been mad important um, in breaking artists, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, um, spreading things faster, louder, more contagiously, more viral than ever before. Um, and I guess there is a few key people who we've really wanted to highlight for a while, mm. haven't we, Hako? A few key people who I feel like are the real tastemakers before, you know, I don't, I don't know the relevance of blogs these days, but even even before like radio, before Spotify, before any of these things, before the millions of views come, before the labels are calling, there are a couple of people who I feel like are becoming really responsible responsible for breaking songs in the UK. You are a G. And I, and I wanted you to come on the show because I've known you for many years now and I feel like everything that you're doing, you actually have to be held up for because you know, there isn't even just people in labels or people in blogs or whatever, but you are a big centerpiece to the GRM daily infrastructure. Um, what was your role when you started at GRM for the people to know? Oh, I was social media manager first. Social media manager. And what are you now at GRM daily? Um, the a &R. The a &R. If you can call it that at a mm. channel, but I guess you can, because yeah. it means artists and repertoire and I'm dealing with artists and their repertoire. So. So what does a day-to-day -day look like for you as the GRM Daily a and Because I imagine it's quite stressful. It is stressful. Um, wake up, check my WhatsApp, which might occasionally have a, a WhatsApp from a rapper who's like, yo, I'm ready to drop my video now. It might be someone big, which is great news. Sometimes it's someone smaller and it's like, yo, let's get this patterned. And it's like, send the link, upload it to YouTube, send it to the team. Yo, this is coming out 8pm today. Is everyone ready? Is a thumbnail ready? Is this iTunes link in the description? All of that stuff, that's all got to be looked after. Jack, have you got it to tweet and Facebook? Have you got all of that? That is an average day, and then just <laughs> sitting and listening and chasing, like, yo, have you got a new tune, bro? The last one's on that like, three million, cuz we're ready for you. You know what I mean? Oh, right, you done a million, bro. We're gonna pay for your next video. Shout me, you know what I mean? Whatever. Like. Okay. What stands out for you when you get a submission that you're really feeling? Because I know this has happened on a few occasions where you like have come across something. It's not just big artists, right? It's not yeah, just yeah. like the ones who we all know. There are people who you guys are actively breaking on a YouTube channel, yeah. right? So tell me what is the process when you find something that you like the sound of? What what do you like the sound of? How do you find these people? Do you know, A, yeah, if your email is nicely written or your DM or whatever is nicely written, I tend to open it more. I just don't feel like people that write. People that you don't know? Do you yeah, open yeah, their emails like, and listen people to that music? write. Can I, I can't swear, it's radar. Yeah, yeah. People that write shit emails don't tend to make good music. I don't know why. <laughs> But it doesn't correlate. Like if your emo is not putting their time, like if there's no subject, yeah, no, yeah. then your song's normally not good. Yeah. And that's yeah. weird, yeah. But it's just one thing that tends to happen. That I, that's people that are just doing music as a hobby. Yeah, like lazy. Yeah, yeah. Like lazy, lazy. Uh, but yeah, that sound-wise, do you know what? If I listen to it first and then ten minutes later I'm singing it, I'm like, oh shit! If I'm singing it, the kids that are more impressionable because I'm I'm listening from a critical angle. So I don't yeah. want to sing it. Yeah, yeah. I almost want to hate it. You know what I mean? I listen to something almost wanting to hate it. And mm -hmm. if I can't hate it, then it must be good. Because people, you know what I mean? I usually know, so it's the sing back factor. Like if you yeah, still yeah, got yeah. it in your head. If it's catchy and I'm singing it, singing it ten, five, ten minutes later, then I know this is going to be annoyingly catchy. Like barking. I hated it. I'm not going to lie to you. I mm -hmm. heard it. I was like, I hate this. Because there's a tune called by a guy called Delsa pending over the same yeah, beat. Yeah, no, yeah. And I thought that tune was better. And when I, so when I heard barking, I was like, someone done this beat already better than you leave it. I go downstairs and I'm still singing it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, fuck, this tune's actually catchy. I was like, Caleb, cool, we're going to run this. Do you, feel, do you feel like a lot of what you guys do is based off of relationships, relationship building and stuff like that? 100%. Because like. you guys have honestly in the past year cornered, cornered the YouTube, British rap YouTube market. Like you mm. have every video and I'm, I'm not at GRM anymore. So yeah. I only see it from like yeah, a, yeah. I was, you know, I've seen it from being inside it, but now I'm not inside it. I just look yeah. at it from an outsider's perspective and, and you have every video, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything that's popping. Well, there's even, the rated um, awards, there's this, there's that, everything. And you know what's helped? People that know that still. Since you like, since you left, I wasn't there when you was there, is the office. Yeah. Like bringing people in, like Posty's a big man, you know, and he's yeah. there. Like artists and artists are coming and meeting posted like what like this is a CEO, you know what I mean? Rollies on the wrist, Merck's parked outside. They're thinking what this man's actually got time to come to the office, and work. Yeah. So you know yeah. I think that A is motivational, and B I think it helps them when they meet me. They meet posty, they see the office and the the paintings on the wall, and it's like yo, do you want a Red Bull and do you want to play air hockey and play play? And it it just creates a bit of great environment. Yeah, basically. and I've, the office has helped greatly. So Every where time. are you from? Because you're not actually nah, in from, London, are you? No, nah, I'm from the Midlands. I'm from a small town called Northampton. That's getting repped by people like Izzy Gibbs. 
Slow Ty, I think his name is. Yeah, Reese from yeah. Northampton. A couple other guys. I don't, not, I don't think there's many other guys, but yeah. Izzy's like the main guy from Northampton for me. Like he's the one repping us most. Okay, sick. Mm. So, how have you found that? Have you do you think the internet is completely changing that space? Because I think there was a time where in which you know even like just down to rappers, they'd be like, oh, London is so like yeah. not helping us. And like, do you feel like the internet now has meant that those boundaries don't yeah, exist yeah, in the yeah. UK? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I also feel like you need to like focus on where you're from as an artist. Like if you're not popping in your own town or city. Then you're probably not going to be popping anywhere else. Yeah, anywhere else. Who else do you feel like you've kind of had a part of contributing to <clears> their <throat> to their little success stories? Um, I'll probably say Young T and Bugsy when they dropped Glistening. What was the, what was the story behind that one? I don't I don't can't remember how I got the video. I think I saw it on I don't know this timeline. Someone must have shared it because on Twitter a lot of people don't follow people, but I follow like a lot of people. I, I just I don't really care like if I yeah, if yeah. I see your stuff and it's like funny or like you share a lot of like interesting stuff, yeah. I follow you. So I must have followed someone that must have been from Nottingham and then must have shared the glistening video. I listened to it and I was like, this is kinda this is kinda joke. This is when Sounds hard as well. I think it was um when what's Lama the name? Did the thing. What's RS. RS yeah, did that yeah, yeah. glistening yeah, stuff, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So they must have like I think they must have like kinda like got the idea from there. And I played that as I put, I put that on as well. The best bit was um Bugsy's bit, which I found the best bit. So I posted that and again person I commented on it was Storms. Yeah. <laughs> it was doing numbers, but yeah. as soon as he commented on it it has brought in a whole different audience and it just blew us out and then that was, that, that was probably one of the craziest like videos I've ever posted like that one went another one I feel like you actually did a help, help with crossover too was the Octavian tune yeah 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 because Octavian crazy. is interesting because we had him on the show the yeah, last I show that, yeah. um, he's like a also quite a particular sort of artist mm, different Without the without pre you and pre Drake, yeah. people in our world would have found that weird. Yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, yeah, yeah. they wouldn't have got it at mm. all. When actually, really, Octavian's like us. Like yeah, yeah. he'd come and hang out with us, yeah. he'd drink with us, he'd chill he with us, cool, smoke, yeah. do whatever. He's, cool, he he's cool. a normal, cool guy. Yeah. But people would have looked at that initially without the close ones, been like, ooh, I don't know, yeah, this yeah. is a bit. This That's a, bit a lot of people left. tweeting me, you know. Yeah, I think the table was hard off jump. I'm not a like, lot of people I'm tweeting me saying like, oh, if you, oh, just because now people are liking it because I've tweeted it. They're like, oh, I shared this video a time ago. Like, no one was liking mm-hmm. it. The funny story behind that song is, um, his boy, one of his close, close friends, DM me months ago, saying, yo, check this out. And for me, like, I get too many DMs, yeah, so yeah. I don't check like 90% yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't check out. Yeah. So when I posted it, I clicked on his boy's profile. I was like, oh, so this guy followed me. I clicked on it. I clicked the DM, just saying, message me. Like, he messaged me. I was like, wow. Like, I'm Do you want to know like, the joke? Do you want to know the actual joke? After we'd done New Gem Radio the other week, when I'd followed him, I went to DM him and send him the picture, yeah. right? And when I went to DM him, hmm. what was the message I see? Yeah, that's what I said. He that's sent what me I mean. his music over a year ago. That's what I mean. Like, and I was like, fuck. Yeah, but it's I so hard like, to yeah, see everything. You, you isn't can't. It? Like, I, get, I get a lot of like nonsense music that I don't like. It's just not good. Bro, I so get I, some I feel like shit. that's why I don't like look at everything. Yeah, yeah. And then you miss out gems like that because yeah, he's was, his song Party Here is just crazy oh, good. Then, crazy. Yeah, hundred degrees. Yeah, hundred degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start at the beginning, right? You have a very big Instagram page for people who don't know. It's yeah. at I'm just bait. Yeah. Um, one point, how many? One point four. Nearly one point four. Cool, nearly one point four million followers. Um, you have your own personal page as well, which got a lot of followers too, right? Yeah. What's that on? So this guy is popping in the streets, basically. He's popping in the Instagram world and in real life because people are obviously harassing you. <laughs> um, so. Are you still in school, no, uni, anything like that? Full time on this. Okay, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Just turned twenty. So oh, crazy. We got some real young entrepreneurs mm, mm, in the proper. building today. It's so cool. Um, so when did you start the account? In like 014, end of 014, I think. 014, 014, 014. So how old were you those times? Uh, <laughs> it's four years ago. Sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Mad and and what <laughs> <laughs> good quick math. Um, so was it was it growing quickly or did something happen to make it grow quickly? I just used to post like mad videos, like the maddest video, but because Instagram they weren't strict on the community yeah, guidelines, yeah, and yeah. I used to post anything like yeah. school fight. If there's a school yeah, fight, I used to yeah. post it because I was only 16. You know what you I mean? I weren't mature make. enough, yeah. so um, I used to post school fights and that, and that's where the buzz came from. If you want, I'm just bait. It was for like a mad thing, you know what I mean? Oh wow! <laughs> so I had to kind of, as I got older, I got more mature, and I've been deleted a couple of times. Yeah, account <laughs> got deleted like six times now. What? Yeah, six times. How'd you manage to bring it back? I got a link in Instagram. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Those ones there. Yeah. Man said I got a link in Instagram. You know? Yeah, that's so not. <laughs> I respect that. That's not a normal link. Yeah, so link basically, I thought like, well, I got to turn this into a business. Like, I left college. I was working in Sainsbury's. I left Sainsbury's, and I thought, well, I'm gonna turn this into a business now. After I saw the potential and the money that I could actually bring, mm-hmm. like I'm working like bare hours for £5 a month, but I could get that off one campaign. 
So I just so thought, yeah, I've got to put full time into this. So how do you decide what's bullshit and what's cool? Yes. Okay, so basically this is like what I came up with. I was, you know Wall of Comedy? Mm -hmm. I was yeah, working yeah. them like, and they helped me with this. So in the video, you look for what the fuck, like so what the fuck and a lol. And if you find both of them, it's going to bang. Okay. So I've been okay. doing that since they told me that. I've been doing that and it's just, it's worked mad. And now you're starting to post the the artists and their songs and whatnot. Um, and it's doing really well as well. I've been doing it from the beginning though. Okay. I've been, since I had the page, I've been doing it, but it's about it weren't big enough to blow. Now if I put an artist on the page, they're getting like a quarter of a million views in mm. like 24 hours and that's mad. That's more views they be getting by themselves most of them, right? Mm. That's what I'm saying. And some people wait a long time to get that on yeah, these big yeah. platforms. And so now you're, I guess you're in a position where you have your...